we're expecting some big things uh, offensively from the Red Sox this year. Okay. Will we see that? Well, we had a great spring training. Uh, we're coming off of a somewhat mediocre season last year, but uh, I think we've upgraded our, our staff and our squad. And, uh, you know, baseball in spring is always a, an exciting uh, combination. I'm really excited that we're having fans at Fenway Park. I know you mentioned that uh, we only have 12% capacity, but we haven't had fans at Fenway Park in 18 months. So I'm excited about uh, opening day. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, trending. A lot of people say they couldn't sleep last night. And it's always a great, uh, a great thing. And, you know, the baseball season was played last year, but it will be great to get back to uh, hopefully 162 games. And uh, are there still seven-inning doubleheaders, Tom? Is that still going to happen? Yeah. And that was a great idea, putting someone on second base, right? Is that mm -hmm. not a great idea in, in an extra innings game? I think that we've made some improvements to the, the content of the game, and I think we're going to continue to make more improvements. But I'm a big fan of uh, seven-inning doubleheaders, and uh, obviously I'm concerned about pace of play, and I think that that's a good step forward. When do you expect uh, comps to be similar to, to what we were used to? Well, it won't be this year, obviously, at 12 percent, but vaccines are going out by the end of the year. Where do you think we'll be in terms well, of, of the stadium? I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm, I'm hopeful that by August uh, that uh, there will be a, a, a return to normal in, um, in, uh, at Fenway Park and other venues. Uh, I, you know, I certainly don't have a crystal ball, but we're hoping that, uh, as you said, the vaccine rollout continues to be uh, expeditious. And uh, I would certainly hope that by the end of the season, uh, stadiums will be at full capacity. You saw the the NFL's streaming news and just the overall news of what uh, sports content is worth. Baseball is a little bit different. There's a lot more, obviously, but I think baseball might even be better in terms of local markets. Are you going to be able to cash in on on? I mean, the the sport the sport itself on just the voracious appetite for for live events. I do think that uh, the the bond that uh, that uh, fans have with their local sports team is is so strong. And in an era of disruption, uh, sports really is must carry. Whether it's the NFL or the uh, NBA or MLB, and uh, I'm looking forward to a return to normal because the uh, relationship that uh, people have with uh, their uh, their local sports team is so strong that uh, I'm excited about uh, you know seeing those returns. Are you, Tom, are you cautiously optimistic about the safety protocols that, that are put in will, will not cause the, the big long quarantines and, and, you know, rescheduling games, canceling games? Are we beyond that yet in terms of the pandemic, do you think? Or will, will we see that scattered uh, cancellations and uh, players being in quarantine, things like that? Well, I certainly think that uh, we've, uh, we've gone beyond where we were uh, six months ago. The protocols in baseball are very strong. The players are, uh, are heeding them. Uh, they're quite extensive. But uh, sure, I think there might be an occasional outbreak, but I do think that uh, it will be a, a rare event if uh, some games are canceled. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.